he was the king of fashion. I mean, he put Paris on the map. He he created Louis Gauche, Prêt a Porter. He created Couture. He put, was the first designer to put women of color on the runway. He was extremely important in my career by giving me one of my first jobs and giving me and working with him for decades. Like all his advertising, his commercials. I mean, I'm really sorry that <laughs> we lost a great man. And I'm so sad because to be working for his name now after 12 and a half years of not working with him is just really sad. I mean, he was a really wonderful man, elegant, quiet, observant. He he uh, he's done everything. He's done it. If you go to the museum, you'll see he's done it all. There's no one that cannot be inspired by what he's done. And as a woman of color, I I am so sad, and because he has done so much for us. And um, Oh, my memory's going to remain the one I remember when we walked down that runway at the last show, and he was extremely happy. I mean, we had no rehearsals. It was 100 girls. I mean, my first Vogue cover ever was because of this man. Because when I told him they wouldn't give me a French Vogue cover, he was like, I'll take care of that. And he did. I remember when I said, Eve, they won't give me a cover because... They said they've never put a black girl on the cover before and he, of Vogue, which was French Vogue, and he said, I'll take care of this, and he did. He was he was a wonderful human being, and he had a great twinkle in his eye and a great smile and elegant beyond belief. And I think we have really lost someone that has really in my lifetime since I've been modeling in 22 years that has been a real focus of this industry. He's He's... I don't know. He's the king of the fashion. He is. There's nothing, no, and I don't think anyone's going to differ with what I say. And he did it in such ease and such style. He lived his life privately. You know, oh, God, not a nice guy. He did what he wanted to do. If he went to a country and he's inspired by it, he did it. I mean, but he didn't, it's, it's like it, it didn't matter what it was, if it was a flower, if it was the word love. I mean, look what he did with the word love. I mean, just, you know, it's it's a really sad day for the fashion industry. I know that. And I'm just really grateful and blessed that I got to work with a genius like him and I got to know him and I'm grateful today to still be working with his brand his namesake brand with Cesaro Pilati who is an amazing designer to be taken over from him and By what culture? He did everything. It's like he did. I can't. I can't explain. I went to that museum and I was blown away. I mean, I got to see clothes when I did that last show of his with the hundred models. I saw. Clo- I wore an outfit from 1969, which was a scandal outfit, which. I'd never seen, but I'd heard about. And all the other outfits I wore were my original clothes that I wore in all his shows up until I was, like, 24. And, um, I mean, just incredible. Just incredible. And he knew each person what he wanted to what he wanted to have. It's funny because I have a lot of the stuff that he would give to me, couture dresses, he would say, keep it. I remember one of the feather dresses I wore. I mean, you know, it's been a... It's, you know, with losing him and losing Katusha, Katusha was a big part of my life with Saint Laurent because she used to teach me how to take off a cape or a coat. You know, it's just really, it's just the whole thing is ironic. And then to be working for this brand after I'm 38 years old now, I feel a little bit like, I don't know, 
I just um, I, I don't know. Oh, going to be so, the name alone. There is not such a name that exists like that for anyone. It's a dream name to have for any house. And I think Stefano Pilati will continue YSL in the best and most elegant way, which is what he's doing right now. He's a wonderful person to be in the shoes and taking care of YSL, and I think Eve will be happy.